In this video, we're going to keep plugging along on the bathroom remodel, and we're going to do it right now. So I want to get an electrical inspection so I can start covering up this with drywall. So what I have to do is eliminate the old wiring, that plug, and the fan. We're going to lose fan in here and the light uh, for a little while. But that's how it goes. Um, so we're going to start with this one. Whenever you're working on anything electrical, it's always a good idea to have a tester like this. Uh, what it does is it tells you if there's a live circuit, the lights up red, sometimes they beep, and you can see this one's live. Also has a green indicator, so <clears throat> I'm going to go down and shut that off. Luckily, the breaker is labeled. Um, if it's not, I could run an extension cord down to the basement with a light or something. Um, and when I flip breakers, if the light shuts off, I know it's that circuit. Or, of course, I can have somebody up here yelling at me, telling me if it goes off. But let's go shut it off. Uh, flip this breaker, and that should be off now. Yep. Circuit's off, light's off, and in fact, that light is off too. So it's all tied together. So that's good. Um, we can eliminate that circuit completely probably. But let's go up in the attic and see where it goes. You can see the white wire here goes out to the fan and then it goes over here and is actually tied to that junction box. So that's going to be easy to disconnect the fan anyways. Now the other one is right there and that comes up and goes elsewhere. That's the one I'm going to start with because that's the one that's going to be the trickiest. So let's try and follow it and see where it goes. So, so far it goes here, under here, and then it goes underneath. So I'm going to have to take some boards up and see where it goes from there. Man, there is no insulation anywhere. I should probably take care of that at some point. So you can see the wire. You just barely see it right there. And it goes under and keeps going there. So I'm just going to keep chasing it. All right, I found it right here. So two wires go in here. Uh, that's where the plug goes down. And then another wire comes up and I followed that wire. And that's actually the wire that goes to the junction box. But then this super old wire, metal sheathing, goes over here and goes down over there. So what I'm hoping is to completely eliminate this entire junction box. But I'm not sure if I can just now um, because this might be power uh, coming up to feed that, that outlet down in my office area because I'm assuming that's where it goes um, but I think the thing to do is to go directly under this and see what's down there I'm guessing an outlet and we'll have to take it apart and see what it's all about so we're in the very dark bathroom and then we come out here and I'm pretty sure this is our culprit so I've made sure that it does not have power and I'm going to take it apart and see what's going on. Alright, so it looks like it's just those two wires, um, which means I'm going to lose this outlet but I'm going to be able to potentially eliminate the junction box in the attic and that to me is more important because I can add 
an outlet uh, later on down the road. So what I'm going to do is just disconnect it from here and pull the wires up. Hopefully there's no staples that'll stop me from pulling these wires up. I think this was probably added afterwards, so there's probably no staples. Okay, let's see if we can pull those up. So let's reassess. Got those two wires out and them there only being two wires there that tells me that there was no power coming from there. Um, one of them goes to this junction box, one goes down to that plug and then that wire, the white wire goes off to the fan. So this is where the power comes in. So what I'm going to do is take that junction box apart and just cap this wire because I don't want to I don't even want to disturb it in the wall down there so we're all set upstairs and I hooked up my temporary light switch for in here I even got my charger and close up and into the other room because uh, I'm not gonna have electrical in here for a while so what I did was the that junction box led into the my office area and that is the only plug left on a line that comes from the panel so I'm just gonna leave the breaker off because I don't trust that old wiring and I'll, I will fix that some other time but I should be able to pull this wire right out I'm gonna take this fan out. Bulb's not hot this time. Huh. I don't know why I ran it that way. Who knows? come down now there it is all set okay so all of the old electrical is out of the bathroom uh, everything new is run except for the fan, uh, which we'll go over next time. And um, I'm excited. I think things are moving along quite nicely. So if you want to see more videos from this bathroom remodel, you can click hereish and hereish. And if this is your first time, definitely su consider uh, subscribing, hitting that red button down there. And uh, I'll see you over there or over there. See you next time.